Did you watch my Pokemon X playthrough? My Nuzlocke? The way Gyarados died in Pokemon X really annoyed me. Uh, I think it was Houndoom or like Honchkrow or something. It used that attack that turns the opponent's status ups against it. And it hit me for like all my health after I used Dragon Dance. Oh my god. I totally didn't expect that. That was really, really terrible. I wonder why she's keeping it in her bag, since it's supposed to be a top secret. I swear it would be safer with the professor in his lab. Uh-oh, that's the Tauros again. Moo? It's a cow. This guy's like 60 years old and he's chasing a Tauros around. That's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if his body can handle that. Alright, route two. This is a trainer, right? Let's do the... this thing first. Oh, what's that? Oh my god, what's going on? I got attacked by a Pokemon! Makuhita. Fighting Pokemon. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. This guy's really tanky. So, he's a pretty safe Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. His other stats are pretty bad, though. Oh crap, that's that's gonna hurt. Right? No? Okay, it is kind of painful. Jeez, would that kill me? If I let it hit me five times? That would be the end of the run. <laughs> There's so many things that just end this run right now. I'm so scared. I'm gonna Great Ball it. This is so scary. Modest? Please, please don't be modest. Its attack was kind of weak, wasn't it, huh? So it may be minus attack. The only Pokemon that I got that was not a terrible nature was the one that died. Okay, what do I call this thing? I guess Gragas works, huh? There we go, Gragas, perfect. No, not Gigas, Gragas. No, no, Gragas. Graga, Gragas. Okay, there we go. Gragas. Gragas is cool. I mean, if it if it was actually modest, then it would make sense for Gragas, because he deals mostly magic damage. Plus defense, minus special defense. Uh, uh, it's got high special defense, right? That's not bad, actually. This is pretty good. I'm okay with this. Hopefully it just doesn't... Hopefully it doesn't die. Because then that'd be really bad. 
It's got potential. Hariyama's pretty good. I mean, I'd rather have other fighting Pokemon, but it's it's not like a terrible Pokemon. Better than Drowsy, I think. I, I'd take... Hmm, would I? Would I take Hariyama over Hypno? Hmm. I'm not actually sure, because right now I'm mostly physical damage. I'm actually all physical damage except for Ember. But, uh... I don't know if Litten becomes a good special attacker later. Yeah, I think fighting type is good. Cause it helps me deal with deal with my rock weakness. Beauty crystal. Oh my god, really? That actually went off? I wonder if the Pokémon still stand up and have their eyes closed. That's probably what it's still like. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Damn this RNG. It's just trying to annoy me, nothing else. Gengar got nerfed, it doesn't have Levitate? Really? What? Whoa! I mean, I guess it's understandable, because Gengar has been really OP for ever, actually. Ever since it was released. Or, I mean, ever since Gen 1. And then, uh, what is it? Mega Gengar is, like, ridiculously OP. So what does it have now? What would it have? In before Shadow Tag. Just give Shadow Tag to regular Gengar. That's fun. Damn, no Levitate, huh? So it's just like Gen 1, Gen 2 Gengar. It's been a while. That Pokemon Cry sounds really familiar. I can't pinpoint it though. What is it? Might be Poison Touch? Oh, that's annoying. Wait, this is a this is a cemetery? I thought this was the trainer or training place where you catch Pokemon. Oh, what the? He's a- he's a trainer? Gentleman Stanley. Oh, what ball was that? That golden ball. 
Golden Black Ball. I can't remember now. Wait, Makuhita is thick fat, doesn't it? Oh crap, it's gonna crit me. Oh crap. Is this a person cemetery? It's a Pokemon cemetery, isn't it? Oh crap, please don't crit. Actually, what does my Makuhita have? Wow, two crits in a row. Please stop critting me. Wait, does it just always crit if it crits once? No, it doesn't. That was three crits in a row. And five hits. Wow. A full restore? What? Why does he have a full restore? It's a level 9 Pokemon. Oh, crap. Wow, this game is actually really hard. He full restored a level 9 Pokemon. It's ridiculous. This is how you show off you have a lot of money in the Pokemon world. Full restore on level 9 Pokemon. If it hits five times and crits five times, I lose. But we'll roll the dice. It's really unlikely. Oh god, here it comes. Oh my god, please stop. No! Okay, I think I'm alive. I think I'm alive. Jeez. What's up with this game? Oh, whoops, I didn't save it. There we go. I chose Makuhito now. Yeah, I think it's a Pokemon place. Pokemon Cemetery. Gotta go heal already. Ridiculous. Would this be cheating? Because I'm supposed to have... I mean, I guess I can buy like 1k worth. I still don't know if this money is legit. It's like, where does money come from in your bank account? Random money out of nowhere. It couldn't be dirty money. I had 27k, right? So technically I have like 3 or 4k right now, uh, ignoring the big massive amount. Oh, Pikachu. Female.
Fake Out. Ooh, Fake Out is good. It's a free attack. Sand attack could be useful. I don't think I'm going to use Focus Energy. It's too RNG. Am I? No, I don't think so. I think he's going to have a ground attack, a rock attack, and a fighting attack. Maybe a dark attack. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get rid of this. Sand attack could be good for, like, something that's really strong. And, uh... I can't deal with it alone or something. I can just I can just tank it in sand attack spam. Am I killing the Pokemon? That's not very nice. What kind of trainer is he? Uh, office worker, I see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not good. Wait, what is this typing? It's steel, right? Ground steel? Oh, crap. Well, hopefully it won't kill me. Diglett's attack is pretty low, so I think it's fine. Oh yeah, and it's steel, so... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I hear a Zubat. This is gonna be a Zubat if I get an encounter, I think. Oh, Ghastly. Okay. Damn, Ghastly would have been a nice Pokemon, but if it doesn't have Levitate, maybe not. How does the hair make it steal? I wish I knew. So this entire area is actually very different, I think, uh, compared to the demo version. So that's for Tauros. Is that Beedrill's cry? Oh, Tauros! Wait, that doesn't sound like Beedrill. I mean, it does sound like Beedrill, but Beedrill's cry is longer, I think. Maybe it's in a metal band. It, it only gains, like, what, a little bit of hair? It's really strange. I think there was a reasoning for it. Maybe... Uh, hold on a second. Oh, actually, Pokedex entries don't actually fill up, right? Until you catch them. I mean, you can just check online. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, but... I think there's an explanation for why it's a steel type. Because of the hair. Like, something strange happens with the hair or something. I don't know. It's strange. It's weird. I don't know my Pokemon cries that well anymore. Bug Pokemon, though, isn't it? Is this guy wearing a mask? Oh, Nest Ball is good. It's for bugs and water Pokemon. Wait, it isn't? Oh, no, that's Net Ball. I see, I see. Okay, okay. Net Ball. Magnemite is watching TV. It's kind of funny.
Oh, there's a trainer somewhere. Didn't notice. Oh! Ah, oh, damn. Sold out. Let's see, where's the trainer? I got a trainer warning in this area. It was up here. Oh, it's there. Okay, okay. It's a little kid. Okay. Because of all its burrowing and digging in the Alola region, it accumulated uh, lots of minerals on its head, which developed into hair. I see, that's why it's steel. They're minerals. Oh, there you have it. Ooh, Delibird. Terrible Pokemon. It isn't actually hair, but whiskers? Oh, that's still weird. Oh my god. It's stealing my bag. Hopefully I don't have to fight someone here. I'm kind of scared. Maybe I should heal. Wait, let's try Pokemon Refresh. I think my Pokemon are pretty dirty right now. It's been a while. Oh. Litten is fine because it's a cat. Cats can groom themselves. How about Gragas? Let's feed Gragas. I bet he's hungry. I should feed my cat too. It's been a while since I fed it. Alright, good to go. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's Team Skull. I think I'm missing like 5 HP, but it should be fine, I hope. A and B again. Is this gonna be a double battle? Uh oh. Scary. Oh, it's just one on one. Okay, that's fine then. But it's one on one back to back. I still think Star Raptor is the best flying Pokemon. Like the early flying Pokemon, the bird Pokemon.
I mean, not only because its stats and abilities are pretty good, or moves are pretty good, but also because it looks really cool. And let's be real about Talonflame. It's only good because of its hidden ability. That's the only reason. Fire Flying is such a terrible typing. Oh, Fire Fang! Nice. Except I'm minus attack. Oh my god. Do I get rid of Ember? Ember's only 40 attack, right? Fire Fang is just overall better. 65, 95% accuracy, so it can miss. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of Ember. The second form of Talonflame was pretty cool, yeah, for a second form. I think Staravia looks stupid, but Star Raptor is just amazing. I don't think anyone likes. Noctowl, huh? It's like nobody's gonna say Noctowl is my favorite bird Pokemon. We just steal his berries. <laughs> Wahahaha! <laughs> Stealing all his berries. Noctowl should have had a better typing. Yeah, everyone says it should be like psychic flying. But there's Natu and Zatu for psychic flying in that gen. So maybe that's why they didn't do it? Who knows. Or maybe Dark Flying. Oh wait, no, there's Murkrow too. Hmm. What, what could it have been then? Normal Flying is like really typical though. Everything's Normal Flying except for Talonflame, right? Of those starting bird Pokemon, of course. I think Swellow and Furo are pretty cool. Swellow and Furo are probably like the second and third coolest. I mean, I guess Talonflame is alright if you consider like the second, third Pokemon coolest ones. What was the Gen 5 bird Pokemon? Or was there one? There was one, right? Oh, it was, uh... Uh, that stupid pigeon Pokemon. Yeah, no one likes that pigeon, right? I don't like that pigeon Pokemon. The pigeon's probably, like, super low tier. P-Dove, yeah. Azir. I, I, I don't like Azir. It's, it's really boring. 
Wait, what happened there? Oh, it's uh, Cottony. He has that stupid ability. Prankster, I think? That's pretty cool. I like that feature, being able to fix the status effects outside of battle. Is this route 2 or 3? It's still 2, right? Okay, so I'm almost at route 3, so I can get a new Pokemon soon. Interesting. There seems to be a lot of ghost Pokemon around here. Or at least I'm, I'm seeing Pokemon or people with Pokemon that are ghost ghost type. There's like Ghastly's, Drifloons, Mischievous. Oh right, it is a cemetery, you're right. There is a cemetery here. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even consider that. That makes sense now. I think that was Spiro's cry. Okay, hopefully it's not a battle. Don't battle me, please. Unless, unless you're gonna heal me first. Oh, my Pokemon are not doing so good. Let's stop by the PMC. Really? They're gonna call it the PMC now? Oh my god, that's so lame. The PMC. <laughs> Holy crap. Three revives, so amazing. I mean, I guess it's free money. That's it. Cutie Fly on Route 3. Damn, there's a lot of new Pokemon. I really want Rockruff though. Catch one for you? I don't have to give it to you, do I? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna show her. Alright. Hmm. I mean, since this is a Nuzlocke, I may not be able to do this. Depends on what I get. Yeah, I don't like the moon version of Rockruff. It's like the stupid edgelord wolf. The regular one's so much better. That's actually one of the reasons I didn't play moon. And I picked Sun instead. Otherwise I would have picked Moon. I mean that and, and some of the exclusive Pokemon. Because I think the Ninetales evolutions, I mean Ninetales in general, it looks really cool. Oh 
as a trainer here. Oh, I see more berries. So you can just pick berries like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? I should have actually gone to Route 3 first uh, and caught a Pokemon before I did this battle. Because then I would share more experience around. Oh, that's a cutie fly. Yeah, I don't stream regularly anymore. I only stream select games, which are on my Twitter. That's where you can keep track of what I'm going to stream. Oh, that's gone. You wanted Sandshrew? I thought the Ice Steel typing was a bit questionable. I think that was one of the reasons. Because I knew I was going to do a Nuzlocke, right? Oh, it's closed? What? Uh, and having like a huge fighting weakness is, is usually not a good thing. Uh oh, it's a Pokemon. Oh, what the? What is that? It's a crab, so it's a water type, right? It looks like a fighting Pokemon, too. It's like a boxing crab. Oh, it's not a water type. Yeah, it's probably just fighting type, huh? Damn, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game. Huge variety of Pokemon everywhere. It's not good for a Nuzlocke. It's better if you have like a select few Pokemon only. So it's easier to get things that you want, I guess. Pokemon are quite fierce. Oh, this should be a new area then. Nice. New Pokemon for me. Perfect. Prepare potions? I think I have enough. Once I enter, I can't leave until I complete it. Okay, maybe I'll get some more potions, just in case. This is serious. This trial is serious business. Oh, what the? These are 1k each now? Were they always that expensive? I thought they were like 500 before. Holy... Yeah, Nintendo always screws over Europe. It's really annoying. Whenever I stream a new game, uh, European viewers always complain about it. it sucks. 